Uh, Candace has always been a go-getter. Ever since she was a freshman, she was always had her hands in different things. She was in Girl Scouts. She did was heavily involved in her church, ASB, um, cheerleading. She she was everywhere. Like she was the girl that was everywhere at in high school. So I knew she would go far in whatever she chose to do. I was hoping she'd be do professional and dance and stuff like that. So anytime she'd call and say, I think I'm doing this, I'm like, okay, good luck. And I would just kind of remind her, okay, don't forget to do this or do that or whatever. So what, what does it mean to you to see her come back and give back to the younger the younger girls? I think it's great. I think um, I think if you have a talent and you're able to um, share it with people, I think that's number one. That's just you're giving back. You're you're giving it not only a piece of you to somebody else, but um, enriching their life too. And I think she definitely does that. Mm -hmm. And um, she comes in here always with a smile on her face, and she's very warm with the girls and very open um, and listens to them. And I think they appreciate that and um, look forward to like seeing her. I want to give back to younger students because someone gave back to me. My coach, Loretta, um, was also on Clippers when she was my coach, and she gave back to us, and she taught us a lot about what it is to be a performer and what it is to be able to engage the crowd and do it with excellence and be able to know how to dance well <laughs> the whole time. Um, so it was one of those things where I felt it just made sense that I would be able to share what I've learned. She was making a dance for Clipper tryout, so she had told us, so we all just kind of were really excited when she had told us that she had like cheered for the Clippers and also now is choreographing for them. It's really inspiring and really impressive and it really motivates me to pursue their careers and it's really cool to know that the people teaching us like have the real experience. When you look at some of these girls and you look in their eyes and you watch what they're doing, do you see yourself? I totally do! It's so weird sometimes you're like, oh, I totally did that in sophomore year. Oh, that was me as a freshman, <laughs> you know, but um, and that kind of it's helpful because it also helps me to be able to teach them better. If you want to do something different, like go into professional, you've got to own everything. Like you have to perform everything. It's not just about a move. It's about setting a tone of your dance and really feeling it and having that performance level from start to finish and even from entrance to exit. Like it's all kind of entwined in everything. For me, it's a privilege to be able to have learned from her and to be able to teach um, under her as well. Um, and right now I'm just, you know, volunteering and helping her and just helping her with whatever she might need um, in my free time and so what kind of questions do the kids ask you um so do you talk to the players do you do you know they do some kind of funny stuff like that and some of them are actually clipper fans too and so um i get to hang out with them and you know share stats and <laughs> i think it's the motivation i think when they see what they're doing they think oh i can do that too you know be it at um, continuing at the high school level or at the college level a lot of these girls aspire to be on uh, pep teams at the college level or even to perhaps be a clipper girl or a laker girl <laughs>